Independence Day. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Friday Night SmackDown. It's been five days since Fatal 4-Way. Thanks to the SmackDown general manager, Triple H has to face two of the Misfits. Yeah, not just any two. Kane and the newest Misfit, R-Truth. R-Truth, of course, shocked the world last night when he turned on longtime friend Randy Orton to side with the Miz. Well, R-Truth must have been studying up on his history in preparation for the 4th of July. Unfortunately, he read a little too much about Benedict Arnold. And the pain has to be shooting through his face. The amazing thing about Triple H is all of his intangibles. Oh, yeah. Power, aggression, intelligence. And not only does he have those things, but he might be the best in each category. Triple H facing two of the misfits. The King, I have a feeling that the game wishes this were two other men. Oh, yeah. Triple H would love to get his hands on SmackDown's general manager, The Miz. And let's not forget the other man in this picture, the new WWE champion, Edge. Well, if anybody was surprised with Edge's actions, then I got some oceanfront property in Arizona to show you. But to answer your question, Michael, I've got a feeling that Triple H won't forget what happened last Sunday for a long, long time. Big move coming. What impact to the head and neck? Watch Triple H. He doesn't waste any energy needlessly. Everything he does brings him closer to a win. ring present <clears throat> the game sticks the spine buster here we go pedigree pedigree the game's going to do it one two three and it's game over Triple H gets some measure of revenge tonight. Yeah, but I seriously don't think he's going to quit until he gets his hands on the Miz. But if he does, he'll be fired.